Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia, and today I am doing a video overview on a lens that many of you recommended when I did the Mikey 12mm f2.8 unboxing and review a few weeks ago. This lens is the Rokinon 12mm f2.0, and this is the fastest wide-angle native E-mount lens that is on the market today. So let's check out what comes in the box. Here is the box that this lens comes in. It is quite nicely packaged. Rokinon 12mm f2.0 high speed wide angle lens. On this side there's a ton of specifications. So aperture range, I think this should be f2.0 to f22. Otherwise that would be a very narrow range. APS-C, nano coating, six diaphragm blades, Minimum focusing dif distance of 7.87 inches, filter size 67 millimeters. Lens hood is included and maximum diameter. It has a nano coating system, a low coma, low flare and ghosting, low chromatic aberration, and internal focus. So a lot of features and you could tell by the long name. Around the back, I suppose this is the front. These are, there's a picture of the lens. This lens comes in both black and silver. The black version is about 50 to $60 more on Amazon because people prefer it, I'm assuming. I bought the silver one just because I don't mind. On this side, you have a picture or diagram of all of the lens elements. And that is it. So let's open this up. So you have some foam, pretty simple. You get a nice bag. This bag is quite a lot nicer than the uh, normal cheapy bags that lenses come with, but it's nicely padded. The lens itself and instruction manual. Very straightforward, simple packaging, bag, lens hood here. Let me remove this. Okay. And already there's quite a few similarities that I'm noticing between this and the Mikkei Mikey lens. Wow. There's the front and let me take this rear cap off and let's give you a tour of this lens. So, made in Korea, very nice. Uh, it looks like the focusing ring is here with the dot on this orange part, so very, very smooth, I have to say I'm quite impressed. The aperture ring is, as I previously mentioned, should be 2 to 22. It is not de-clicked. See the blades open and close there. Around the back, no electronic connections because this is a manual focus lens. But metal mount, everything looks very nice. And I kind of like this color. I didn't expect to like it, but uh, it's a nice shade of silver. With the lens hood, you line up the dots and it does click into place. So it's on there very securely. Looks a little weird with a black hood, but it's okay. And I do like this red ring around the barrel. So let's put this on the A6000 and see what it looks like. All right, so here is the lens mounted on my A6000 with the lens hood. It looks pretty good. It's a little weird with the black, but I guess it works. Without the lens hood, that is what you get. Very similar in size to the Mikey F2.8. Nice dome on the front. I will say that unfortunately, the mount is a little loose. So when you are adjusting the focus, you can sometimes feel a little bit of a wiggle 
you can kind of hear it. I don't know if it, the mic is picking that up, but there's just a little bit of play. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. You only really notice it when you're going, when you're changing focus from left to right. It's just a slight click. Other than that, the lens works great on this camera. Very smooth to focus, aperture ring works great. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at some sample images using this lens. And my brother stole my camera for a little bit, so he may have taken a few of the shots that you will see right now. So overall, I'm quite impressed with the build quality, how easy this lens is to focus. I found that it was very smooth, very easy to quickly find focus on subjects that were near and at infinity. And the shots that I got are pretty impressive, really, when you consider that I'm getting bokeh at 12 millimeters, which I was not expecting at all. But that's just some of the benefits of an f2.0 lens. So you get bokeh, you get better night shots, uh, in fact, I didn't use this lens at night, but I plan on doing that when I do compare this to the Mikey f2.8 because I think that would be an interesting one. And if you are doing indoor photography, certainly the f2.0 helps because indoors at times it is difficult to get adequate lighting for your photography. I think it's a great lens. Uh, definitely check it out if you are interested. I'll post the Amazon link down below. And stay tuned for the comparison video where I will compare this lens to this Mikey f2.8, also 12 millimeters. They look almost identical, they're just different colors. Thank you guys for all the likes, all the comments, and all the support. I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day, bye-bye.